Live Super Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. Yeah, and thank goodness that this super typhoon is actually weakening as it's making its landfall right now along mainland China. Here's the latest, as you can see, and it went right through the southern tip of Taiwan with really close to about 180 mile per hour winds. You saw the video. It's just incredible with gusts over 220 miles per hour, making it one of the strongest super typhoons on record by far at that time yesterday, the strongest uh, typhoon or hurricane anywhere in 2016 in this entire year. And in fact, to compare it to something over into the Atlantic Basin, you'd have to go back to Hurricane Gilbert or Hurricane Wilma as far as the lowest barometer pressure a couple of days ago when it had 190 mile per hour sustained winds. Now it's down to 105 and it's making itself landfall right there. Hong Kong is right here, so it's not being affected and it'll continue to weaken, but it's produced also Besides the 180 mile per hour winds sustained in the southern tip of Taiwan, you saw the incredible waves, 40, 50 foot waves just offshore. And they've also had almost two feet of rain in southern and central Taiwan from this system. So right now, it's moving north, northwest, making landfall, 105 mile per hour winds. And then by tomorrow afternoon, it'll be down to only 40 mile per hour winds. But it's going to move through some mountainous areas of China, which could cause some mudslides and flash flooding. Closer to home, let's take a look at the tropics in the Atlantic. Uh, this, is, of course, is Julia right there. I'll talk more about Julia in just a second. But in the, in the Gulf of Mexico, which is kind of interesting, now we have a 10% chance of this system, a little disturbance here of some thunderstorms, only a 10% chance as it moves westbound. Even if it doesn't develop into anything, it could produce some pretty heavy thunderstorms as we go through maybe late this week into the weekend along the coastline of Texas. The Caribbean looks pretty good. As you can see, the island chain looks fantastic. Most of the western Atlantic. But here's Bermuda. And way out here in the north central Atlantic is Tropical Storm Ian with 50 mile per hour winds. So it's just barely hanging on as a tropical storm. It'll continue to make its way up into the North Atlantic over the next several days. No threat to land. And here's the west coast of Africa. And coming off the African coast is a tropical depression number 12 with 35 mile per hour winds. Moving westbound has a chance to actually uh, become a tropical storm as it moves west. We've got plenty of time to watch this system. And it's not really in that great of a favorable environment. Now we head all the way back to tropical storm Julia right now. 35 miles to the east of Savannah and continuing to make its way slowly off to the northeast. Very heavy rain bands continue to come into Charleston. We're going to look at flooding already going on in Charleston right now, along with Folly Beach. Flash flood watches continue from Charleston through Myrtle Beach to Wilmington. Uh, Myrtle Beach and Wilmington could see an inch or two of rain. Depends if the system decides to move farther north. But right now, the computer models and the Hurricane Center think it's going to move this way and then south and then backtrack and kind of meander offshore for the next three or four days, possibly into the weekend. There are no watches or warnings along the beaches themselves. It's offshore where we have tropical storm force winds continuing. Uh, and look at the computer models just all over the place. That's why they call them spaghetti models. <laughs> it looks like spaghetti here on a dish out in the Atlantic. It's just all over the place. So there's very little steering currents to move it around. And one model it pushes it out to sea. Let's hope that occurs because if it doesn't, if it hangs around the beach of South Carolina, we could see a lot of rain, a lot of rain. It could cause some major flooding. We'll keep you updated.